Families struggling to find critical medications. Thanks for staying with us. I'm Chris Tanaka. And I'm Lisa Hughes in tonight for Paula. Drugs like Adderall and Ritalin are in short supply. WBC's Mike Sullivan looked for the reasons why. These shelves are stocked with drugs, but there are certainly a few consistently missing. We're seeing it with Adderall and Ritalin, and really the generics. These drugs are typically prescribed to battle ADHD. You will find Adderall on the FDA's shortage list. Currently, it is comprised of 137 different drugs. Very rare. It's few and far between that we actually receive anything. Andrew Stein owns Birds Hill Pharmacy in Needham. Their customers have been getting creative to get their hands on the medication. Whatever is available, you try to work with what you have. So does that leave some patients having to maybe get bigger doses, cut them in half, or get smaller doses and take two? That's correct, yeah, depending on what's available, um, and some of these can't be cut as they're controlled release. Stein believes the issue is multifaceted. He points toward an increase in prescribing from online physicians, as well as extra regulations on manufacturers because the drug is a narcotic. There may also be insurance coverage issues for brand name versions of the drugs, even if they are available. When one medication, the generic, is not available, the brand may very well still be available, as is the case now. But because PBMs aren't covering that, uh, you're left with a void. Or the patients are left footing a lofty bill out of pocket. Other patients have, you know, flown out of the country to get it or have pa family members uh, send medication into the country. The shortage strikes come as high school and college students work through final exams. Some may seek to find the drug on their own. That's a, a concern, especially if they're getting it from, you know, potentially online pharmacies where they're not sure what they're getting. Yet, there seems to be no reprieve coming either. In Needham, I'm Mike Sullivan, WBZ News.